Welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm here back in New York, finally, and over my jet lag, somewhat. Anyway, um, it's really good to be back and back in the groove and, you know, there's nothing like home, darling. There's no place like home, <laughs> said Dorothy. Now, um, thank you, guys, thank you. Look, if you haven't been here before, welcome, and I hope you stay and you keep coming back. And if you have been here before, welcome back. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your likes, all your comments, all your best wishes for my mom. Thank you. She's doing um, as well as can be expected. She seems to be settling into her new uh, home. So uh, thank you all for those wishes. I, I really appreciate you. Um, these uh, readings are for, um, you can hear, <laughs> can hear the ice cream truck. These readings are for uh, August, sorry, July the 30th through August the 5th. Um, and this is Leo season. Happy birthday, Leo. Um, I will be pulling an extra card out for Leo. Now, the astrological report this week is we've just had this huge uh, eclipse and that energy can last um, for up to six months. Um, so we will be feeling that uh, the fallout. It was a big blood moon and I did a video on that, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, the only um, different thing, because we do have the sun in Leo, we also have Mercury, which is retrograde now in Leo. Uh, we may not have, we may not listen as well as we ought to uh, during this period with Mercury in Leo and uh, in retrograde. Now, on July the 30th, this is kind of the only thing that's, well, there's lots of little things that are kind of different, but I would be here all day going into that. So I'm going to make it um, uh, succinct. So July the 30th, 30th, Venus is uh, in a semi-square to the sun. Now, this can bring up kind of irritations um, from other people, but it's also uh, an opportunity to look within because those irritations outwardly could be from um, what's going on inside of us, right? Um, so it's an opportunity to look deeper at ourselves, to look inside and to see... Uh, where we can what's affecting us internally um now uh also be mindful of wanting more right and of course with uh mercury in retrograde it's really good to and all and because of the eclipse it's really important to let go of things that no longer work for us that's things people maybe even places um, so it's very important to clear out our cl closets, to organize. I think it's a really good time to declutter after an eclipse and during Mercury in retrograde. And it's not like you can't, you know, buy something, but really pay attention to the fine print because um, we have this urge to kind of uh, be a little impulsive and to act without thinking. I'm sorry, I am uh, very hot here. If I put the AC on, it's extremely loud. I'm going to have to sort something out uh, to get a quieter AC. Um, anyway, I'm sweating. So, with that out of the way, um, let's go to... Oh, and I just want to quickly mention, even though it's the 6th and, and it's... Um, I'll go into more detail ne next week about that. But Venus enters Libra. It's changing signs. It's going from Virgo into Libra. And it will be a little sigh of relief. Uh, Venus, she's much more comfortable in Libra than she is in Virgo. Um, anyway, uh, more about that later. So um, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello Capricorn and welcome to your, oh, sun, moon and rising Capricorn and welcome to your reading for 
uh, July the 30th through August the 5th. And the first card up for you, let me put my glasses on, is the Nine of Cups, darling. Wishes come true, excitement. This is like feeling really in a mood, like things are really looking up for you and that you've got a reason to celebrate. Now, what's interesting, clarifying it, you've got the, oh, it's the Ten of Fire. Clarifying it, I thought it was the Nine. You have the Ten of Fire, which is the Ten of Wands, right? So here we have the nine of cups which is dream wishes come true and and uh and feeling very celebratory things are looking up but you also have the ten of fire which means that there's a lot going on. you've got a lot of responsibility so this is about being very careful about what you take on capricorn because the ten of fire is can mean that you've taken on a lot i call this the people pleasing card and it's about you've got to drop some of this stuff because if you don't it can really lead to you know heartache if you will and that's so interesting because the next card is the three of swords um look this is about recognizing your limitations and not taking too much on because sometimes we just want to say yes 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 and then we can't follow through and then we and then people we it's almost like a self-sabotaging thing, right? Because we take on too much. And at the time, maybe we really believe that we can do it, but we can't, we can't reach the deadline. We can't, you know, we can't deliver what we promised. Um, so people get pissed off with us, you know, if we don't deliver what we say we can. So you're celebrating for these opportunities, but you're taking on too much. So be careful, uh, Capricorn, this week not to over promise or over extend yourself really recognize your limitations be honest with yourself of what you can or you can't do and the next card you've got is the three of swords um the three of swords is all you know look it's pain it's heartache um it's betrayal um the thing is is i've got two cards clarifying it i've got the justice card right which is you have to do things for the right reason here so maybe look for some of you i feel that you've got this opportunity and you're kind of uh you're taking this opportunity and uh the relationship that you're in is a falling apart because of it uh perhaps or has the potential to fall apart because of it now the justice is about doing the right thing for the right reason so it's some for for everyone right it's about really coming back and this karma is at play here guys karma is at play that's what I'm getting here. Uh, and you've got the King of Air, Judgment too. This is like the Justice card. Um, you are, you have to be careful how you treat people and how you move forward here. Remember that every decision that you have has a karmic value. So look, Capricorn, we know that you're very, uh, you know a career or oriented you really want to go further and you may um choose that over the relationship and that ultimately is going to be painful for you um is what i'm getting so this is really weigh the pros and cons with this opportunity that comes up for you perhaps this week um I'm really getting that you have to, um, you really have to think about the bigger picture here and you have to think, is, is it worth losing your relationship over? Um, this, you know, the three of swords is pain. It can be an old pain. It can be, you know, from the past. Um, this can, this could come up for you 
as uh, you look this this uh, eclipse is this full moon lunar eclipse is about relationships it's about endings and beginnings um, I feel that one of your, you know, your for some of you, your relationship could, could end because of a decision that you make. So um, just be aware of that. Be aware of the decisions that you make. Um, and you, the next card you have is the Ten of Pentacles. You see, I am getting that this is a, a lucrative opportunity that you have, that all your hard work is finally paying off. Um, but there may be a cost in uh, so so this is wonderful right this is an incredible this is all your needs are being met this is this is look all the money's in the coffer you're really doing well and that makes you happy capricorn that really does make you happy and you have the page of earth and the page of earth is about you know new opportunities it's about lucrative opportunities coming your way so I feel that you have a choice to make here. And um, I feel that this opportunity is going to uh, really fill your soul. But um, the relationship that you in uh, may suffer because of it. So you have to make that decision for yourself. You have to really look at this relationship and say, is this relationship uh, working for me? Is this the one that I want? Because this can bring up old pain from the past. Um, so it's something that you've got to look at. You have to look at the truth in the situation. You've got to look at your limitations. You've got to look at what's what you're capable of and what you aren't. Um, and you look, you've got the celebration card, but the only thing I say about the celebration card is you can over celebrate, right? Um, there's pain on the table, Capricorn. You know, there's no way around it. I don't like, you know, I, I can't sugarcoat that. That's, that's there. Um, how you handle that is, um, is up to you. Um, this could be old stuff that's coming up. It's definitely karmic. This is definitely uh, karmic pain that's coming back for you. So this will be an interesting... Um, I, I, I'm actually drawn to pull the... And I, I wouldn't normally do that, but I am drawn to pull Archangel Raphael for you, uh, this healing card, because I want to kind of get some guidance from Raphael because I feel that there's a, I feel Raphael needs to come in here and what guidance and wonderful blessings could, oh, there it is straight away. Hydration. You've got hydration. This is healing the body. Um, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy and appetite can stay at optimum levels throughout each day. Um, <laughs> hydrate. Definitely hydrate. That doesn't really uh, help with the heart here. Um, but hey, maybe that's something that you need to know as well. Um, so listen, Capricorn, there's karmic pain coming in for you, for you this week. Do the right things for the right reason. Treat everyone the way you want to be treated, uh, with kindness and compassion. Um, be careful about why you make decisions. Are you making them just for lucrative, uh, benefit? Because, you know, uh, sometimes it is time to let go of relationships and move forward. Um, but that's a decision and a choice that you need to make. But I would definitely meditate and get in touch with a higher purpose to find out what's right for you. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want a personal reading, click on here. I'll see you guys next week. The babies, look at them. How old do you think they are, Kathleen? Um... For a personal reading, please go to www.liveinthesolution.com. They're at the ugly duckling stage. Maybe four weeks. I can make you.
No, I'm just saying that because of the no, story. Sure.